Hello, this is Roy from Roy's Guide. I've seen a number of waves of debate from a certain group of players debating a concept I coined called the cheese win. So today, as I feel responsible to correct the record on this topic, I'd like to take a deep dive into the terminology of a cheese win. A cheese win is a victory that is attained through unknown or unconventional means. A cheese win can come in many forms, but ultimately emerges from a combination of well-crafted machinations and strategy that often defies the expectation of players that make something a cheese win. It is similar in the vein that scientific advancements like the cell phone would appear to look like magic if we were to go back in time and show this to primitive man. Calling something a cheese win is simply the acknowledgement of voodoo magic, that you've not attained the correct operating thetan level to understand. Now, you may have heard players use this term to associate a cheese win as unfair or dishonorable. It's actually quite the opposite. A cheese win is a perfectly normal activity performed by players. In fact, just like any other activity that you enjoy, it is a perfectly normal human motivation for players to improve and strive to be the best, like none ever was. To catch a Care Bear is the real test, and obviously to train people to improve is indeed a worthy cause. That being said, being a good PvPer or pirate should include learning about all aspects of the game, from being a good barrel roller, to know about the best loadouts, or even just having an encyclopedic knowledge of the art of war by Sun Tzu. Espionage, deceit, planting booby traps, or just plain disinformation for players are all elements that could be considered cheesy as they are indeed strategies that do defy expectations. The same can be said for finding or using a game mechanic that provides or gives you the player an edge over another. Simply because you are not skilled enough to perform an action in-game does not mean it is unfair or dishonorable. A cheese win is simply a normal evolution and extension of skill in gameplay. At Griefernet, we subscribe to a philosophy that is found in professional golf, specifically the rule playing the ball as it lies. If the developers created something in a specific way and chose to leave it in the game the way it was designed, provided you're not using a third-party hack client software, we see this as a fair and legitimate strategy to exploit every tool at our disposal. Uh, Heavy Bob in the chat says, maybe not release it till you fix the bugs. This is a good chance to uh, remind folks that every tier of Star Citizen Alpha is a testing environment. It, it, it's, it's, you know, the, you've got the Evocati at the base, the testing environment. Then you've got the PTU, testing environment. But even when we release it, it's still Star Citizen Alpha, which is still a testing environment. Even when you may believe it's not fair because you lost. After all, we cannot deny that this is supposed to be a sandbox where you can be the player you want to be, be it a trader, pirate, bounty hunter, or just a regular dude. Emergent gameplay is indeed the main theme of a cheese win. In conclusion, just because something is a cheese win doesn't mean anything. And identifying something as a cheese win is again not a reason to abuse or waste time using the player support system like a sadistic player. Using the player report system to report things you believe are dishonorable or just cheesy are not in the spirit of emergent gameplay, and doing so makes you a detrimental thing to the game itself. We at Griefernet will never support this kind of sociopathic gameplay of using Cloud Imperium games as a weapon against our enemies. Just because something is cheesy does not mean it's against the rules. Like everything, our response to players is as the kids say, get good, and learn to be a better player. This is Roy from Roy's Guide. Stay safe out there, and most importantly, stay cheesy.